Hello, fellow graduate friends. I am Abby Grauberger. I'm a music teacher at Chestnut Grove Elementary School in Decatur, Alabama. This is my first year teaching here, and so far I love it. I love elementary music and teaching the little ones. Um, I would say the demographics here would be 50% Caucasian, then we have about 30% African American, and the remaining students are Hispanic, generally Hispanic. We have a small percentage of um, some Middle Eastern students, but, um, but it's mainly Hispanic. Um, this is a very affluent school. We have students who are living in million dollar homes and we have students who are living in trailers. 50% uh, of the students are on free or reduced lunch and uh, but we're not yet a title one school um i like to create my classroom environment as an inviting environment by uh, involving everybody because if you involve the students every student make sure that you don't leave one out because sometimes that's easy to do make sure you involve the students that they feel included and i hope to um, create a welcoming environment for my students where we can all create and where it's okay to make mistakes and where we can have fun and goof off but we're still going to learn and those are the types of things that I strive for as a music educator. Um, let me see, I want to make sure that I'm getting everything so I have my notes. <laughs> um, I've been a musician since I would probably say seven. My dad put me in piano lessons at seven and I loved it. I came home and was like, oh my gosh, I love this. This is my favorite thing. And then of course, like in middle school, I was in the choir and then the high school I was in the choir. And then at Lee, I loved, I loved singing and I was in the chorale and the opera theater program and Mr. Frost, who I love is one of my favorite teachers was my voice teacher and we still keep in touch. So I'm grateful for his mentorship. Um, let's see, the, my students are, my students here are very smart. The teacher before me did a very nice job going ahead and teaching them the basic literacy, literacy skills that they need, such as rhythm and solfege and even the little ones steady beat. And I hope to expand on that, especially using, um, ORF this this year and a lot of chant and rhythm and body percussion to uh, get the students involved because I think that that's really important especially when we're not supposed to sing. <laughs> um, their musical capabilities are are pretty normal for their age I would say so. We have a um, about seven special needs students throughout the whole building and they come to their grade level classes and but we do like I said I want to make an including environment for them so I try my best to like get them included in some way or say or stand by them or dance with them or something that just makes them feel involved too. Uh, the students interpersonal skills are good they are um, friendly and they are good to one another and they are able to communicate to one another well and um, they seem to know themselves well which helps. They are definitely social. This is a social school especially in the south. Um, they're very friendly and I love it because I love to walk in the hallway and see them and wave and it's just really sweet. Um, I think that this course is going to be beneficial for me by by continuing to learn. Like I am a full advocate that teachers are lifelong learners and I am learning every single day either from my mistakes or from my successes and I believe that that's true and with this resource or research class I hope to study that a little more in depth so I can better understand the craft that I am doing on a daily basis. That is my personal goal. And so I look forward to sharing class with you all. Thank you.